Today I'd like to talk to you about Chairman Mao. Okay, you're thinking, how does that need a pronunciation tip? Chairman is an English word. Mao is an easy word, right? Is not pronounced something like is it? No, no, no. Chairman Mao is really easy. But let's talk about his personal name. The way it was written when he was alive looked to most people like Tsi Tung, so they would say Mao Tsi Tung. Of course, that's not actually the way it was said in Chinese. Big surprise. It's also not the way it's written these days. See, that was the way Giles transliteration system. Now we use the Pinyin transliteration system. And in Pinyin, it is written like this. So you may be looking at that and thinking, um, okay, Mao Zedong? But no, of course not. In fact, Mao Zedong is more like the Afrikaans for the chairman's private member. No, what you need to know about the letter Z, that is Z for Americans, is that in the pinyin transliteration, it represents the sound Z. So, the name of the honorable chairman is Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to say, oh, yes, I remember reading about Mao Zedong in school. I mean, you're not going to, partly because it sounds weird and partly because I just know you're not going to. You might say Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong. That's fine. So, next thing, you might be saying, wait, how am I supposed to say Zedong? Well, I mean, you said use English sounds. Now we can't start a word with Z in English. Yeah, well, fine, lap it up. You can start a word with Z in English if you really want to. You just think you can't. If you can say, what's a donkey doing here? You can say Zedong. In fact, when I was at Tufts University in a suburb of Boston, a standard greeting was Zup. I guarantee you, if you can say Zup, you can say Zedong. So, we're settled. Mao Zedong. Now, I remember telling you, and I hope you watched it, that Chinese has J and Ch sounds. So, just the same way as it has J and Ch, it also has Z and Ts. Can you hear the difference? Z. Tsa. How is that tsa represented? With the letter C. Largely as in, for instance, Polish or Croatian or um, Esperanto. I'm sure you all speak Esperanto so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Who, where, what word can I give you to illustrate that? I know. Let me give you the name of one of the great authors of Chinese literature. Did you just pull a face? Did you just pull a face? Are you like, is that, um, Kao Xue Quin Zue Chia? Look, I just told you, C is pronounced Tsa, so you know that first name is Tsa. And if you watch my X and Q pronunciation tip, you know that X is like Xia and Q is like Chia, so you should look at it and say, Tsa Xue Qin. Tsa Xue Qin. Which is as close as you're gonna get to it in English. Because it's really, Cao Xue Qin. Cao Xue Qin. Now, Cao Xue Qin wrote a wonderful long work of fiction called The Dream of the Red Chamber. I'm told it's excellent. I'm not going to lie. I haven't read it. However, I have read some very nice quotes from it. And I think now that I've given you Z equals Z and C equals Z, I would just like to close off with a little quote that you might appreciate from the dream of the red chamber. It goes like this. That translates to truth becomes fiction when fiction is true. The real becomes unreal when the unreal is real. Have a nice day.